Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is going to be about how to take your existing operating system, whether you're running on a desktop or whether you're running on a notebook with a notebook hard drive, and move it over to your brand new Intel SSD solid state drive using the Intel data migration software tool. So to download the data migration software, once you've already got your new Intel SSD, you're going to go to intel.com and in the what can we help you find today box, you put data migration software. Very straightforward. Then you go to support and downloads and drivers and it will be the one at the top. So you just download that software, very top link. This is actually built by Acronis, so it's not an Intel built tool. So Acronis has been doing this kind of thing for a very, very long time. You sort it into wherever it is that, oh, look, apparently I've downloaded it before. There we go. Do you want to replace it? Sure, why not? It's a quick download, and next we're going to show you guys how to use it. Now, before you can migrate the data, you can see that we are booting off of the drive that is already in the computer, in this case the desktop, or we'd be booting from the drive that is already in the notebook. And then what you have to do is you have to take your new Intel SSD and connect it to your PC in the most convenient way. So if you've got a desktop and you have an extra SATA cable and an extra SATA power cable handy, you can just plug them in that way. Or alternately, you can use an external enclosure. In this case, I have a simple cable that just plugs right into the drive to power it and act as the uh, medium for data transfer. So I'm going to plug in the Intel drive right there, and then we're going to run the data migration software utility. Now the Intel data migration software is quite simple once you get it open. You've got only a few options. You can get the full version of Acronis, which you don't need in order to clone your drive. This is a fully functioning copy. You can create bootable rescue media. You can use the Acronis drive cleanser. We're not going to worry too much about that because the cloning operation is very safe. All you're doing is copying all of the contents from your drive to your new SSD after you've reduced the amount of data on your hard drive to an acceptable amount so that it'll fit on the SSD. And then before you wipe your original drive, you can boot up with the SSD to make sure everything's working right before you wipe it. So there's almost no risk involved in doing this. All you got to do is press the Start Now button, go in automatic mode. We're just going to go with that. We're going to go from disk one, next, to disk two, which labels itself the Intel SSD to make life easier for you so that you can just select the one that's not the Intel SSD and clone it to the Intel SSD. If you do it the wrong way around, it will clone a blank drive onto your existing drive. You will lose all of your data, so be careful with that. Then you click Next. Okay, yep. Processing and shows you a summary of what's about to happen. You click Proceed. And you can even shut down the computer when the operation is completed. Now we forgot we're cloning a boot drive, so a reboot is required and it will automatically pick up where we left off. Here's the progress bar that comes up when we reboot the computer. It does it totally automatically. It's cloning the drive right now. Bear in mind, guys, that it doesn't matter whether you have an SSD or a hard drive in your computer, you can still use the data migration tool to clone your OS to a new Intel SSD. It will do it correctly, unlike some drive cloning tools which will not correctly align the partitions and can cause performance issues. Now it's done, all we have to do is press any key to shut down the computer. And then we're going to turn the computer back on after unplugging our original drive and plugging the Intel SSD in. So what that means is that if you have your notebook running, you are going to want to, here we go, uh, where did I have that running to? Sorry guys. You're going to want to uninstall your original hard drive from the notebook, being careful to observe any uh, static safety precautions, and then replace it with your new Intel SSD and boot from that. And here we are, back in the OS, exactly the way I left it. We are booted off a completely different drive now, and we have all the benefits of an Intel SSD. That is low power consumption, low noise, and blazing fast performance. So the 520 series SSD is the fastest single SSD on the market these days. So, well, assuming you're watching this video sometime close to uh, when we filmed it, who knows, by the time you watch this, there might be a 680 series SSD or something like that. But for now, you get that blazing fast speed along with all those other benefits. Now, one other thing you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to reactivate Windows. So activate Windows online. If that doesn't work, 
activate Windows over the phone and make sure you explain to them that the reason that you are reactivating your Windows is because you had a problem with your OS and you had to reinstall it in a new drive. That way you won't have any difficulty reactivating it. Because it's not a new computer, the license is tied to the computer, not to the hard drive or SSD drive itself. So if you haven't changed the other components, you should still be all right. So you just have to do that and you're good to go. Thank you for checking out this episode on using the Intel Data Migration Software Utility and don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips.